for anybody that's out there watching this. Just continue to stay down, grind, and believe in yourself. Like, invest your time in yourself and believe in yourself. As dream chasers, we accomplish that wide awake. Turn everything up a little bit in the headphones. You ready? Ready or not, here I come. You can't hide. What's up, y'all? Paris Austin, uh, point guard here at UC Berkeley. Um, grew up in Oakland, California. I'm chilling with my boy Nick right now. About to have him chop me up. Um, I'm gonna just talk to y'all, let y'all know how it is for me, how I grew up and everything. Um, yeah, you know, just growing up in Oakland, California. Um, at an early age, I, I, I attracted to basketball. Uh, kept me focused, kept me out of the streets, you know, kept me something to do. Um, I grew up with a lot of people, you know, that decided to play basketball with me, but, you know, as we got older, um, I noticed that they started branching off, they started doing other things, and I decided to take basketball seriously, um, and, it got to, and it got me to where I am today. Yeah, so growing up in Oakland, um, a lot of people know uh, there's a lot of, like, distractions going on. Whether that's you know drugs, violence, um, just the, the city is hot. You know what I'm saying. So if you hang around with the wrong people, or the wrong crowd, it's easy to get lost. Um, for someone like me, um, I just stay true to myself. You know, um, I know people that do that type of stuff, but that was never what I was about. I always was about you know bettering my family, um, trying to better myself. So I took the my route, which, which was playing basketball um, at an early age. Middle school, I went to Montana. Um, that's where I, I know a lot of my friends from now. You know, growing up, just that kid in middle school, um, want to be around everybody, want to have fun. And uh, from there, I went to Bishop O'Dowd. Uh, and um, that's where that's where, where I really changed my life. I felt like um, it changed my outlook on a lot of things. Um, it gave me like a real diverse and cultural aspect. Um, that I hadn't seen before, you know, I wasn't used to being a lot of around different um, cultural people. Um, that's why I met, you know, Coach Lou, um, Dr. Phelps, a bunch of my best friends um, that I'm still close to today. Um, and Bishop O'Dowd was good because it helped me in school and uh, my academics taught me how to work hard, you know, do different things. And then just with basketball, you know, it, it prepared me. It really taught me how to work instead of just playing basketball at the park and everything. You know, it, it showed me the, the, the true definition of hard work and what I had to do to be good. So um, through high school, took basketball really seriously. Um, I ended up winning a state championship in my second, not only my last year, but the second time we won my state championship. The first year we lost. It was, it was tragic, you know, we thought we were going to win. Second year, you know, we just came back, had that same motivation, uh, shit. And we were just ready to win, so we won that. That was one of, like, the best moments of high school basketball for me. Got to play at Cal, actually, um, in front of, like, 13,000 fans. It was packed. The game went down to the wire. It, it, was, it was just crazy. And, um, after high school, uh, I decided to go to Boise State and play basketball. Um, I, w I was there for two years before I transferred to Cal. Um, played last year here at Cal, and now I'm going into my senior season, um, looking to, to, to win, make big things happen, and just continue my basketball career. I'm really interested in like business, um, as far as like money and finance. Uh, a lot of my time, you know, when I'm not just playing basketball, uh, just being around my friends, I'm always looking to learn, like, whether that's reading, watching YouTube videos, um, talking to some of the people that I know that work in real estate or business, like, everything about business, whether it has to do with money, you know, being your own entrepreneur, it, like, it's a big interest for me. Um, I wish it was something that they taught more in school. As far as like, you know, how the real world is, you know, I feel like in school they, they try to teach you about just working for a company, you know, getting your degree, working for a company, but they don't really teach you how to 
do the things that people go through in the real world. Like he doesn't teach you about taxes, you know, how to read an annual report, um, just certain things that go into a business or, or the money, the money aspects, how to keep your money, how to make your money grow. So that was that's something that I always um, really that's something that I've been taking interest in for a while now. Just talking about like what it takes to to get to the college level, I felt like. You know, I feel like in every profession that you want to do, whether it's basketball, different sport, whether it's cutting hair, any other profession, I feel like it's something that you have to like dig down deep, deep down and like, realize that that's something that you want to do. Like, it, it definitely takes a lot of time. You know, you got to be disciplined, you got to be focused. Um, and a lot of it is like doing stuff when you don't feel like doing it. Like being a college athlete, like, there's we put in a lot of work that people don't actually get to see. So um, it's definitely something like a lifestyle where people don't understand, you know. And I'm sure uh, most athletes can attest to that. Uh, it's not just playing a sport. It's more than it. It's more to them than that. It's a way of, like, thinking, being. And what makes the bay unique is, like, everything that we do, I guess, you know, as far as, like, I feel like everything originates from the bay. Like, everybody wants to... Like copy what we do, like when it, when it comes from our rappers, um, you know everything is based out of here. Google, Yahoo, I mean not Yahoo, Google, all the tech companies. And, but I just think the people in the Bay are genuine and unique, and that's what people love about the Bay. Not only will we stay, like everybody loves the Bay Area. We close to San Francisco. Uh, we got Lake Mary. It's just not only is that, but I think the people are we genuine. We got good vibes, good spirits, um, and we just know how to have fun. Every time um, some go down, you know, we have a good time. My favorite, hands down, my favorite rapper, Meek Mill. Not only is the hottest, not only is he the hottest in the game right now. I've been rocking with Meek for a minute, even when you know all the beef and stuff was going on with Drake. He just always been my favorite rapper. Um, besides him, you know, Jay Z, Ho, he he's still the greatest. Him and him and Meek like my top two. Um, I'm gonna throw Drake in there. I like Drake music. Um, I'm really starting to like Cole. Cole been putting out some good music, but he's like his body of work has been really good for a while. So I've been on him heavy. Uh, and that's really like my top four. I wouldn't say I got a top five. But like, if we go into the Bay, talking about the Bay artists, um, All Black for sure, Lil Bean out of San Francisco, um, Project Popper from the Ville, you know, here in Oakland. He be throwing some. It's a, it's a lot, but like, them like, right there, Offset Jim, I like him. It's, it's, it's a lot, bro. Like, the bay, the bay, we coming up, um, and we just, we just active, like, everybody know how the town get, they know who we be on, everything we, everything we do, people want to bite, our sound, just gotta throw Mr. Fab in there, you know, been doing it for the longest time, Oakland legend, always looking to put people on, the last thing I'm gonna leave y'all with is whoever watching, you know, um, whether you're a basketball player um, or anybody that's just working towards the goal, you know, for me, I got goals and aspirations that I want to um, fulfill in the future. But I would say just, you know, um, use your time wisely and um, and whatever you're passionate about, invest your time in that. Um, for me, investing my time in basketball, you know, working out all the countless hours that I never thought uh, would amount to something. Um, it did, you know, I was just a kid, you know, just playing the game because I loved it. I was a young kid trying to stay out of trouble. But little did I know, it opened a lot of doors for me. Um, I've met a lot of people. I've been able to travel the world, you know, I've gotten a free college education. And hopefully it's going to put some money in my pockets. So I would say for anybody that's out there watching this, just continue to stay down, grind, and believe in yourself. Like, invest your time in yourself and believe in yourself. Don't listen to other people tell you you can't do it or anything like that. You know, we all have heard that. We've all gotten that before. But just stay focused and commit to yourself. And lastly, um, I just want to uh, say thank you to my boy Nick coming to clean me up, you know.
It's my boy. Went to high school together. Um, and shout out, man. Continue to uh, follow his journey. You know, watch his channel. Um, like, subscribe, share. You know, all the stuff y'all do. You want to be a, a self-made millionaire, a king, a king of oneself, the head of your family, somebody to take care of your mother, your family. Uh, hustle hard, man. Get some money. How long y'all seen me rapping? 10 when I start rapping. I'm 26. That's 16 years. I just started getting money three years ago. That's 13 years. If it take me 13 years to get this money, why can't it take you 13 years?